Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Hallelujah. Sir, this man wearing white, please can you stand? Don't be embarrassed. Can you place your hand on your neck? I want to pray for you. I don't know what is there, but the Lord is asking me to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the anointing of the Spirit bring you life right now. And bring you healing. I command a release for you right now. In Jesus name I pray. Hallelujah. Now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies. Please sit if you can. Please sit if you can. Just just Bring everybody out now. Who begins to shout under the anointing? Whether inside or outside. I'm seeing angelic activities. The Lord is bringing an end to very strange, mysterious occurrences. Bring them. Everywhere, all over the overflows. There's something mysterious God is removing from lives and families. Bring them out. We're talking about the power of Jesus here. Bring them out. You can't stand it. It's not, it this, this is a word from God. God is separating you. He's bringing something out. You will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this. Remember, Christ is revealed as the power of God. There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over the overflow outside. Literally, an anointing will lift you from your seat. Literally. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus, let the end come now. Captivity always has an end. Let the end come now. Around the balconies. I'm seeing angelic activities. Around the balconies. In the name of Jesus. Let the end come now. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the end come. You, you can't stand. This is the power of God. Come. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. oh, oh. Just the patient will take the testimonies. But God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people. 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal. And you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people. The power of God is coming on you now. 14 people. The garment of shame. 
the garment of shame we tear off that garment now from your destiny tear off that garment from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ That lady, the third row, first, second, third. I command that spirit to let you go now. In the name of Jesus, the third row in front. I rebuke that devil. Let her go now. Now, in the name of Jesus, release her. I'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes. Let her go now. Who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? I'm no. from this man. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will leave them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh, yes. that was worshipped, yes. you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man, but if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking. But the power of God is touching you because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I command that spirit, anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back, Paraka Shobratike Baratuzia, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, worship of deity. There are some of you here, you even see these deities appear to you. Right now, I command. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let them go now. Release their names. Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction. I declare be free now. Help that man. Be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire. On fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. And for all of you who are here in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, the Chinedus. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, God is taking something out of your body. I declare, be free right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please hear me. Don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed. This is a miracle service. There is someone... Is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest 
like like a um um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a brief a have like a i don't want to use a a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here your name is to be alone your name is to be worshipped. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. Now, please, don't listen carefully. Don't misunderstand me. We are not saying you are evil people. And we're not saying your parents, they, they, I'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices. Listen, there is one of you here, don't feel bad. I'm going to pray for you. What your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people. And the causes of so many people are on that family. Listen to me, what I'm telling you. Because, I, well, I don't know now. It's difficult to, I'm, I have to just obey what God is telling me. Please don't come out carelessly. I'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family. We're all from Africa. I mean if your father directly was involved in this. No, no, if they, if they are there, let them, I will pray for them. But one of you, I'm sorry to use that expression. Your father is a herbalist. He has been responsible for the death of many people, including a man of God. And there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family. We have to pray. Again, this is a family of love. I hope you understand what I'm doing. And please, we are not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people. Remember that the anointing comes. Jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Because there are some of you here, you will think it's a joke. The the ill speaking of people. As a result of diabolic things. Do you know that every herbalist has children? And when you say, oh God, destroy those who have caused me pain. What do you think you are saying? Hallelujah. Young lady, my dear, look at me. This fair lady. Where are you from? Where? Huh? Christ Eva. Ah, Jesus Christ. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My goodness, my God. You see, let me tell you this. Please hold on. Um, you know, when I teach, it's good to listen to me. Listen to everything I'm saying. And I'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages. Make sure that when you are putting these things, you put everything we say. Don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people. There are two families here, married couple. This is the real cause of the problem in your marriage. The cause that has come as a... It, it's alright, my friend. What is it? You are a herbalist? My father is a sorcerer. Huh? sorcerer. Your, my father. No, no, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Eh? Where are you coming from? I'm from Edo. I don't worry, I'll pray with you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people parents there, I mean fathers, grandfathers and you, if you are coming from a family of idol worship, don't let idol worship come out of you be that bridge are we together, look how many people are here, all of these people will be married, some are married what do you think will happen to that home some are in business, this is why you can invite somebody and say come let's do business together, you just thought that you are inviting just a body but you may not know you are inviting altars and every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers, what do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished the ministry of deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River, I need to pray because there is something terrible in this family. 
one of you here, your father has, to, is it your father or from your lineage? You are supposed to literally take over the priesthood. Who is that person? Directly, oh, and they have been calling you as you are now. Come, come and stand here. Let God help you. I don't mean a vision, no. They've told directly, they are calling you now that you should come and take it. Ah, Lord of heaven. Don't, listen, listen, please. Let's, let's be orderly here. This is the house of God. Let them come forward. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Emo State, sir. Emo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You see, my friends, when Jesus comes, he truly can set free. This gentleman now, they are calling him. Do you know what happens when you reject that call? If you do not know Jesus Christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence, you will not have a life again. That altar will tear anything. If you are married, sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding. Look at this fine young man, but these wicked altars. This guy probably went to school and yet the altars don't care. My friend, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Is it your father? My grandfather, sir. Your grandfather? Yes, sir. He's still alive? No, he's gone. He's gone? Yes, sir. And you are supposed to take over? Yes. From my maternal home. From your maternal home? Yes. How about you, my friend? My grandfather. And when he died, his picture disappeared. So I was told that I'm the, uh, my auntie, the elder, uh, father, my elder f uh, father called me that I should come to the home before she died. That I should come, there's a message for me. And I'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe. You are the one who is supposed to be. Yes. But God has called me as a pastor. That's all right. How about you? Mine, it was my grandfather. My father was the only son. So when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, my father took over. I'm the one that was supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, but frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Currently, my father's two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part. Very terrible situation. Battling with life right now. You see what I'm saying? I hope I'm not getting you to be afraid. But I'm just telling you that when God puts a miracle service like this, believe me, you don't want to know what people are going through. My friend, this man, this one lifting his hand. Yes. There is a serious prayer I need to pray for you. Talk to me. Sir, I was told that my father has a call of God upon his life, but he chose it the wrong way. And since I was growing up, I was told that I am going to take the place of my father. Now he is late. Where is your father? He is late now. Listen sir. to me. Don't feel bad. Mistakes were made. It's a wrong group that led him. I will not say more than that. But he was involved in things he should not do. Do you understand? And there was something that went wrong. And he paid for it. But... Every deity, alive or dead, every priesthood behind any altar that is troubling your life, manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree right now, let fire fall now. Help them. Let Let fire fall now. Let fire fall now. Every occultic initiation, they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices. I declare be delivered now. Hear me? And for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of Jesus, any altar that will not let you go, I stand right now as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, there are two sides to God. There is lion and lamb. It depends on which one you choose to see. In the name of Jesus, every altar alongside the priest behind it, I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Swallow them. Swallow them. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Therefore, I declare all of you who are out here, I declare you free by the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. In Jesus' name. You see, let me give you an advice. If you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood, don't be lukewarm in your Christianity. Because you either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with God. If you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation, these altars will tear you. You hear what this my, my dear friend is saying? Your father is now paralyzed. Huh? His two legs are having problem. Completely. Completely, the two legs. And he's a pastor. Yes, sir. Where is he? In Kogi, sir. In Kogi? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Kogi, sir. I'm a Nigala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? Thanks, sir. And the Lord will help you. Amen. There are many things you need to know. But then God will help you. Amen. Listen and learn and grow. Amen. Father, use him mightily. Amen. The Lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a place called Aimba. Do you know that? I'm seeing the power of God rest on people right now. Who are from that region. Listen, listen carefully. I just saw fire and I saw that name. Everyone who comes from that region. If there is any altar that is holding you down. I, I'm not asking you to come out. You can just remain there for sake of time. Listen, I'm praying now. Help them. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Be free now. In Jesus name. Those who came out for that call. Whether you are standing at the aisles. Go back rejoicing. In Jesus name. Go back rejoicing. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now there is someone. This is strange. There is someone. The Lord is asking me to pray for you. You deal in spare parts. That's what you do. But I need, I don't know why God will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you. Is there someone like that? I don't mean you are just, you are, this is what you do. I want to pray for you. Because the salvation of many people is connected to you. When you find that person, please let me, let me have that person. We are about to pray. Let's take a few testimonies to glorify Jesus. Who is ready? Who is this one? Why is he here? You are healed? Spare part. Where? In our person. In the name of Jesus Christ. You too? Okay, so join him. Let me just pray for you. Even though in my vision, this, these are not the people I'm seeing, but then I will still pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help these people. It may look like what they are doing is small, but I prophesy to you that though your beginning be small, your latter end will greatly increase. May the Lord prosper you. And He's prospering you not just for your sake. He's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones. Because you need to be there for them. He's raising you as a Savior. May He honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Okay, very quickly, let's have the testimonies. Yes, All sir. Right. Um, so, Apostle, she came in here with very severe pains in her throat. She Pain in your throat? Yes, sir. How many years, my dear? Sir, I I normally have a uh, sore throat. Okay. So when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of, uh, of throat pain, yes. and the pain and the pain. Completely disappeared. gone. I can swallow throat and uh, uh, speak now. In no the pain name again. of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. It Amen. never returns to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Then, sir, we have two fantastic testimonies again. Yes, please. You spoke about people that, you know, had been stammering. And okay. And they were healed. So I've been stammering for like 20 years. So it's been very difficult to talk. Somehow. Stammering. Yes. You're yes, sure sir. of that? Yes, sir. Who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? Tell us. 
We've been friends from secondary school. You've been friends from secondary school. Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Should not perish. But have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, my friend. It will never return to you. And, and for this good friend, for coming to encourage him, in the name of Jesus, may good things look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Let me hear the testimony of Jesus. All right, sir. So it's similar case. Please, sir. Boy, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your name? Alvin. Alvin. What happened to him? Who brought him? Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was wondering why the boy was there. Okay. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember. His stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry. Don't despise him. When you see an adult, you have seen what he will become. But when you see a little boy like this, pray for him. Father, use this boy mightily. It's been our prayer for many years that Koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of God. And it is still our prayer. May the Lord use you mightily. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who are such a dull in the mind, not properly done. This baby came. Surgery was done when he was here. Let us speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? Fifteen years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And lately it has been paining me. So I went to do S three. Okay. So said, you couldn't stand on the other leg. Yes, and severe pain. Okay. Lately. And right now, there's no pain at all. Completely. Me. Which of the legs? Right. Match with it. Let me see. I've been standing on it for. Oh, you've been standing now. on it. Look yes. at. She couldn't stand on it. She came there with the pain today. You came in with the pain. Yes, sir. Walk. But now she's healed. Any pain? Any pain? The same case for our brother here yes. four years ago. What happened to you? Four years ago. Sir, four years ago, I have an accident when I'm working in Philly Station. So all of a sudden, I was treated by all those traditional medicine. I have been seated for more than one year on the floor receiving my treatment. So look at the evidence. The leg is not even set. Because of the injury on my leg. So it used to inch me sometimes. The leg used to hold me. Wherever I'm even praying, I can't even do this on my own. But after the prophecy, I key to the prophecy. All of a sudden, as you declare, yes. instantly the pain just went off. Hallelujah. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Please come. That's not why you came out. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. You see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man, but it's, it's not for me to speak, I'm on air, but something has been done to you. You are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served. And they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically. This is a demonic thing. You need to be delivered now. I stretch my hands. I release you from that spirit. Out of him now! In the name of Jesus Christ. It is true you are really called to be a prophet. But not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes, your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not, being, I'm not being sarcastic. But all these things, they, they drag you to the river and all of this. There is a scriptural way to obtain grace. 
And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people, but let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry, but we have to be careful. In the name of Jesus, again, I set you free. This spirit that appears to you, let him go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is, there is a wicked pattern. Southern Kaduna. Parus Kadina Kapra Haski Badia. Gratus Keti Bredigi Baraduzia. God is going to use you as a mighty vessel. I'm releasing this grace on you. Mighty vessel. There are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus praise. He gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gums. She had had the challenge for four years. For bleeding, those who bleeding and swollen gums. She has, she has gone to the confidence, used her tongues. It's no longer bleeding. Bleeding again. what? Gum. Gum. For how long? For over four years now, sir. And right now? It's gone. Like gone it's completely. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Let Short sightedness from bed. Healed from bed. bed? From bed. Now she can What couldn't you see? Like, um, colors. Colors. And then letters. It's really hard. But while you we were preaching, I felt heat all over my face. So I had to sit down. And then when I got up, everywhere was beautiful. Everywhere was beautiful. And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please stop. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year, and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast and I refused. Immediately I woke what up kind from of the it? dream. You, you, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture. I have taught you. When you get up, don't just record it and leave it there. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Every dream is a seed. By the principle of biology, a seed is... Are you understanding? Not, not meeting. You have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen. So that dream is a seed. You can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest. Or you can reject it. Barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man. That means you have the power to reject certain seeds. Like this kind of demonic seed. So you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. I, I refuse in the dream. So when I recall immediately. You know those I the Bible called it. dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They palpated my breast. There is not no seed and not nothing. Today when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's... Uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had the Straight to the point, dream. madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were giving the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we are saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo. The snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. I'm only here the same thing since 2009. 
Something has been moving in What happened body. to Mama? Let her speak very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair and since then it doesn't grow. And Your hair does Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yes. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again. Yes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Scrape here, 13 years ago. 13 yes. years. Scrape. Let us speak, ma. So, I was sleeping and I dreamt and in the dream, uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no- are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I pray this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they are having experiences beginning from the dream. But then it is manifesting physically. I pray for someone here. Everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction. I declare be free now. Be free now. I sanctify your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, ma'am. But since then, the hair refused to grow. The hair refused to grow. It refused. I have. I don't even sleep. I pray. I'm not sure I'm hearing her well. Hold on. I pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. What do you mean the hair refused to grow? There's nothing there. I'm bald around here, but normally I I have really thick, long hair. But they shaved it all around like that. And I don't see how a woman can be bald on top. Oh my I'm God! Around this, and then things started moving in my body, and then things started changing. My my um, favors started going away. I would yes. go to work, and people would turn against me. I'll be nice to people, and they would Th- turn against me. That's all right, ma'am. I'm going to pray for you. Thank God you came for the miracle service. I she pray for you. The US. She, she came she from the U.S. Yes, sir. My God. You see, whether you are in America, whether you are in London, once it is altars, they will fish you there and accept the power. The Bible says that except one greater than he comes to bind the strong man. Look at Mama, all the way from U.S. Look at this kind of evil on this woman. If the hair of Samson grew back, then I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Madam, please believe what I'm telling you. In the name of Jesus Christ, between now and the next three months, we declare supernaturally, let your hair grow back. And all these doors of favor that have been closed, I declare in Jesus' name, let it be open for you. We declare that as you return back to U.S., it will be strange testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. All right, sir. So, sir, for four years, she for 17 years, you spoke about, you know, people lactating and God healing them. Praise the Lord. Well, I'm here to testify to the goodness of God because I've been lactating for more than four years. I went to the hospital and they checked me and they said, um, it's normal, but I know it's not normal because I'm not pregnant. There's nothing wrong with me. So when they were praying, I could not even wait for the prayers to finish. I ran to the restroom. I made sure that I used the energy in me to press and nothing came out. Four years. How about you, my dear? Yes, um, for 17 years I've had this issue, but it became more obvious after my surgery, my right ovary was taken in 2019, taken out. You had so, a surgery? Yes, sir. Oh my Ovarian God. Fist. So, I wake up soaked most times, or if I press the breast, it comes out like it's a, a straight movement. So, after you pray, last year you prayed about it. And it stopped. Do but you have I children? No, sir. I'm not married. You're not married? No, sir. And yet the surgery, you're, oh my God. Can I pray for you? Do you believe God can give you brand new ovaries? <laughs> my dear, look at me. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe I will pray for you? Yes, sir. Place your hand there. Place it. You just do what I'm asking you to do. In the name of Jesus, we thank the doctors for doing their best. But right now, the same power that created the heavens and the earth. I stretch my hands 
right now brand new ovaries agree with her brand new ovaries and i use as a point of contact to pray for anyone here trusting god for a creative miracle perhaps by surgery or whatever something has been taken from your body in the name of jesus weep not for the lord is giving you a brand new one Timothy 4 and verse 18. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 18. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, it says, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Someone shall say in the name of Jesus. One more time, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every walk of evil over my life over my family and all connected to me I come against you in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to pray someone is praying someone is praying someone is praying In the name of Jesus, is that he suffered no man to do them wrong. He reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am God's anointed. I am God's anointed. Therefore I declare. Therefore I declare that every evil that every evil against my life. Against my life. I cause you by the blood of the Lamb. Open your mouth and pray. Every evil. Every evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every closed door. Every closed door. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. Right now. Right now. I declare. I declare. Be open. Be open. Please open your mouth and pray. Be open. Every closed door. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is that I desire to come to you once and again, even I, Paul, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder men. I'd like you to shout it from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take authority, I take authority over every hindrance. Over every hindrance. Stopping good things. Stopping good things. From coming into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance. Man. Sister. Demonic forces. Every hindrance. I come against you. I come against you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. If you are in ministry or you are in any form of leadership, as we pray this prayer, let it be from your heart. Every chain. Every chain. Shout it again. Say every chain. Every chain. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my advancement. Tying down my progress. Tying down my progress. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Break now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every legal access. Every legal access. That the devil has over my life. That the devil has over my life. Over the works of my hands. Over the works of my hands. And over all connected to me. And over all connected to me. By the blood of the Lamb. Access is broken now. Go ahead and pray. Every legal access. Every legal access. Even the local captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Now, please listen carefully. Listen carefully. Just help those under the anointing. When I was preparing the prayer request, this prayer request, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw a woman sitting down. And I just saw tears coming out of her eyes. And that was when this scripture came. Psalm 116 verse 8. Psalm 116 and verse 8. Psalm 116. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. 
Someone say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. That the spirit. And the forces. Responsible for my tears. I declare judgment upon you. Now. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my destiny. The mantle for my assignment. Rest upon me now. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. The grace assigned. The mantle assigned for your destiny. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, two more prayer points. Fire is burning in this place. Hmm. You are going to pray. Everything that left my life, everything that left my life, by demonic orchestrations, by demonic orchestrations, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to my destiny. Open your mouth and prophesy. Restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. The final prayer point, I want you to pray it with all of your heart. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 26. 15, 26. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Last week, you cannot imagine how many people... I got, without exaggeration, probably thousands of text messages saying, Apostle, thank you so much. That message, I shall not die. It just destroyed. You cannot imagine how many people live perpetually in the fear of death. Fear of death. He says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I have no covenant with death. 
I have no covenant with the grave. Therefore, every altar that wants to administer death, may the Lord judge you right now. Open your mouth and pray. I have no covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with death. No covenant with the grave. Someone pray. No covenant with death. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, many of you will be surprised as you see answers to this prayer begin to come into your life. There is a God that answers prayers. He says there shall be no more infant of days. You see, when you see things going wrong in your life, you have a responsibility to identify it based on the will of God, not based on emotions. The basis for everything we do, listen, I have taught you that the, the administration of the power of God is within the jurisdiction of the will of God. The power of God does not act outside of the will of God. Are we together? The ability, the assignment, the mandate upon the power of God is to restore all things to be consistent with the will of God. Hallelujah. So when the power of God comes upon a person, it works only with respect to the will of God. This is the confidence upon which we can release God's word and expect it to work. Because when the word of God, listen, the word of God works like a drug. When a doctor gives you a pill or a set of pill to swallow, you don't have to tell the pill where to go to. Already designed, are we together now? It knows where to go and find the entire pharmacology of the drug. It was designed to identify. There is a way it works in your body. For some of you, the moment you swallow the drug, it will demand that you are asleep for it to really work. So it will just hibernate your body and force you to sleep. And then you wake up with a sigh of relief. Hallelujah. When the power of God comes into your life, it does not know you as a person. It only knows the will of God. Or what is not the will of God. And the assignment of the power of God is to start scanning your life. No, this, this growth here is inconsistent with the will of God. That becomes the ministry right there. Hallelujah. So don't just fall down and stand up for nothing. Don't just shout and scream for nothing. No, understand what the power of God is doing in your life. When we are praying for the sick... We may not mention your case, you see, because even within the prophetic, we are limited. And whether your case is mentioned or not, yours is to receive. Let the power of God go into your body. The power of God has no business going to your kidneys when the problem is in your head. If a drug that was designed by man has that level of intelligence and precision, how much more the word of God that is quick and powerful. The Bible says it is sharper than every two-edged sword. It is able to divide even to a thunder between the soul and the spirit. And that it can even discern the intent of the heart of man. Hallelujah. When the anointing of the spirit comes upon you, you must believe that you receive something. And then you must take the relevant actions. Once I pray for the sick, and we, we, it is time to take testimonies for those in all the overflow, so that we do it in an orderly manner, as we always do. 
If they are coming for the testimony, allow them to come, those outside. There are several people outside so that there's no chaos. Make sure that there's an orderly way to usher them in. And then for those who are online, you can always send in your testimonies and we'll be able to take a few. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus did not ignore the presence of demons. Jesus did not ignore the reality of the ministry of demons. In fact, in his teaching, very clearly he would, he would let them know that from the beginning it was not so. That Satan had played a role in the conditions of those people. But the most important thing is that every time Jesus works miracles, it is for the revelation of his glory. That means one of the ways that he reveals his glory is by working miracles. John chapter 2 and verse 11. This beginning of miracles, the Bible says, did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory. How did he manifest his glory? By beginning to do miracles. The Bible says, and the disciples believed in him. Hallelujah. In John chapter 20, from verse 30 and 31, give it to us please, John 20, and many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, 31. It says, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that in believing you might receive life through his name. So there are no limits to what he's able to do. Hallelujah. Several people have come right now with oppressions of darkness and there is no reason. You can't have, some of you have come here from as early as 8, 9 in the morning. Can you imagine? To wait that long only to experience the power of God. Would it be just and fair that you return back the way you came and then the only thing you say is, well, I came for a miracle service. What then is the miracle about the service? Hallelujah. So as I minister by the Spirit, I want you to focus not just on people falling and standing up. Focus on what the power of God is doing. And then especially in your own life too. Believe that God is doing something in your life. When God gives a prophetic word, say for instance, even if your name is not called and it applies to you right where you are, what he says to one, he says to all, you can connect by faith. Is a father and the Lord who has transited in glory, Archbishop Benson in Dahosa, who says, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. He says, if ye be evil, know how to give good gifts. How much more will your heavenly father Hallelujah. Several people are here under the influence of strange, unclean, the Bible calls them wicked spirits that masquerade behind the negative conditions of men. I hope you know that most negative conditions in the lives of people are sponsored and influenced by the presence of demon spirits. And fighting physical things is only a total waste of time. It is authority in the name of Jesus that is able to deal with these demonic forces. And that separation is what the Bible calls deliverance. The greatest of them being your salvation itself. Because salvation is the chiefest expression of deliverance. Being translated, the Bible says, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. But that does not neglect nor downplay other dimensions of deliverance. Like that which happens upon Mount Zion. Because the Bible says, but well, upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Are you ready tonight? As for me, for as long as I live, the devil will not rest. For as long as I live, there will not be one person who comes under this, this prophetic atmosphere. Oppressed by the devil. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing not all they that were sick. That means most sicknesses are issues of deliverance. Healing all, that they, all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, when people are falling under the anointing close to you, we have a lot of ushers, hundreds of them, but they are limited. And we need to stretch and work with time. If someone is under the anointing close to you, whether you are an usher or not, if there is a call to bring them out, please do well to bring them out. Let's work together so that God grants us grace. In the name of Jesus, one last prayer. Father, I'm ready. Locate me and visit me. Go ahead and pray. Locate me. Visit me. Locate me. Visit me. Salabakatosha brandege verekusi atabalandusli. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. When we minister deliverance, it's not just an issue of anointing and power. There is a dimension of kingdom authority. You see, authority is higher than power. It is authority that gives power its legitimate ground to be administered. Are we together? The person who has power and the person who has authority, one with authority is greater. Because you can use power illegitimately. Authority is what gives power its credence. For instance, if you carry a gun and you shoot someone, you can be in jail for the rest of your life because you have power, but you do not have authority. Is that true? Yeah. When you get to the court of law, they are not going to ask you if you have a gun. They will say, based on what? What gave you that authorization? But no judge will call a military man and say, why did you shoot these people when you are in war? They got the command to fire from their commanding officer and they acted so. Are we together now? He said, we have been commanded to bless. So I'm about to pray. And I'm going to ask you to start bringing those under the anointing. It's interesting how God does this thing. Believe me. You would think that after walking in the, with the power of God for so many years, you should get used to the dynamism of the workings of God's power. I still, I still am amazed and how the power of God rests upon people and the, the, the entire administration of the power of God is still a, a, maybe not a surprise in all fairness, but it still keeps me in awe. I'm, I'm just saying, my God, I fear you every time I see him do this thing. Now, you can imagine a, a, a church is silent, peaceful, matured, able-bodied looking people and in seconds, just like that. Deliverance, and all kinds of things begin to happen to people. What a marvelous God we serve. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray. God has given me the marching orders by his spirit. Ordinary men helped by God. Hallelujah. The power of God is going to begin to fall on people now. Don't shout. Don't say anything. I just want you to bring them out. I'm seeing the ground open. And I'm seeing something look like smoke coming out of that ground. And this is connection with ancestry and the spirits of the dead. And there are people within this auditorium and outside. There are all kinds of demonic fraternities. And right now, by the spirit of God, the power of God is beginning to rest on such families and altars. Please bring them out. Bring them out right now. It's not something you can stand. This is, this is by the spirit of the living God. Please bring them out and bring them out very quickly. Jesus is alive and the power of the grave is broken, broken forever. I decree and declare right now that everything, young and old, there are some of you who are standing representing families, fraternities with the grave, the spirits of the dead. It says, oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? May that grace come upon you now, bringing liberty, bringing liberty, bringing liberty by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. Marvelous God. Now, God is showing me something. 
I'm seeing something that looks like a shadow coming out of people. Like physically, shadow. These are spirits that have been moving in the bodies of people. In the name of Jesus, every familiar spirit, every spirit that is not of God, that has connected itself to your spirit, manipulating your life and your destiny, I declare that it leaves you right now. I bring you deliverance right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. 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 Spirit. Hallelujah. Now we are going to shout that name Jesus. Please hear me. This is not just for individuals now. There are many, many families. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a man standing, a very tall man. And I'm seeing chains on your feet. Both of your feet. They are under chains. And the Lord is telling me that that man represents families. It's not just an individual. We're about to shout that name Jesus. The moment that happens, the power of God will come on individuals. Representing their various families. No matter where they are. Some of them may not be here on ground. But the power of God is coming upon them. Are you ready to shout that name Jesus? One, two, three. Shout Jesus. I break those chains. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I release families under demonic under demonic captivity. Chains be broken. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. In fact, for that person, I don't know if it's that you have changed the surname or you want to change the surname. Because someone told you something about the surname and said there is something connected to ancestry that comes with that name. Who is that person? I'm about to pray for that person. I'm seeing a lady, you are wearing red. Complete red down. This is... You are one of such persons that the Lord wants to visit with that name. I'm giving it, please, let's respect the. I give the chains falling. I give the chains falling. Let me tell you the truth. Now, I'm not, I'm not advising you to go and change names, I am just telling you. That in the realm of the spirit, a name is more than a means of identification. Are we together now? To the, an extent that God would call Abraham, Abraham, Sarai, Sarah, Cephas, Peter. I want to pray right now. I'm going to stretch my hands towards you. The power of God is going to come. You don't have to change the name physically. But from the realm of the spirit, any connection with any name. In the name of Jesus, those in front, I stretch my hands right now. Every altar that powers any name to work evil over you, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now at the count of three, let it be broken. One, two, three, break, break now, break now, break now, break now, break now, break now, break now. Every name. Connected to ancestry. I'm saying it again. Names that came as a result of dedication done to idols. Names that came as a result of covenants with the dead. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. From the realm of the spirit. I break the power of those names now. I break the power of those names now. I break the power of those names now. I'm telling you, I'm just the fire rising in front. That's what I'm saying. I say it again. I break the power of those names now. The power of the help that woman. The power of those names now. 
Please hear me. I'm praying for everybody. But then for those in front here, any exchange that has happened in the realm of the spirit, an exchange of your destiny, on account of Abakatos Ketekata, an exchange of Abare Ketos Theater. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing exchanges happening. Let there be a restoration now. A restoration now. By fire. A restoration now. A restoration now. A restoration now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Every altar. Release their destinies now. Please hear me. Some of you, while I'm praying for you here, your loved ones who are not here, but because they are connected by bloodline, what God is doing, I'm saying it again. Is that Anjabes was more honorable than his brethren. The mother called him Jabez, sorrow, every name, spiritually and physically, that is upon your life right now and is responsible for your destruction. I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. Let that name change now. The power behind that name, I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray a very serious prayer right now. For those who can, you can return to your seat. I'm, I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. Listen carefully now. And the Spirit of the Lord is taking me to Benway State. And I'm hearing the name Aleku. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any family that is connected to that spirit of divination. Right now, the power of God is going to come on some people. That spirit, I let be broken. Be broken, be broken. The spirits of the dead, help them please. Benway State, or anyone connected to that state, in the name of Jesus Christ, be broken now. Be broken now. I don't know what it is that you have to do with a tree, but the Lord is showing me a tree. Every covenant, it is true that believers are called trees, but not demonic trees. I decree and declare every connection with the elements of creation that is for your destruction. I set you free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me share with you what God just showed me. This is an incredible vision. I just stood here now. You know how you open peanuts or granite? You just open the shell. And God is telling me there are destinies that have been wrapped up by demonic altars. Listen, listen. Fire is about to fall on some people now. I want you to bring them out. Every destiny, I don't know by what demonic means, your glory was covered. But in the name of Jesus, by the power and the authority of Jesus, as you shout the name, there are ministries that will rise tonight. There are visions that will rise tonight. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Please bring them out. One, two, three. I open up that close destiny. I open up that close destiny. I open up. My God, please help them. I open up that close destiny right now. Be open. Be open. Be open. Please help them. Be open. Hallelujah. Now, now it's not the time for impartation. But the Lord is asking me to pray for a gentleman. You don't have to come out so that you are not embarrassed. You were genuinely called into the prophetic. God has called you into the prophetic. But something happened one day. Now I don't, I don't speak evil against the body of Christ. 
but you were introduced to somebody who supposedly laid hands on you and gave you something. You know, maybe I don't know, I, I presume not intending for evil, but that thing connected you with familiar spirits. From that time, you started having very destructive visions and even torture for yourself. I don't know who that person is, whether you are inside or outside or online, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to minister your deliverance. Be set free now. I declare the purity of your mantle. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the number seven. A woman, seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I know there are many people, but please, let's just walk with instructions. Seven years. Who is that person? Seven years. Very quickly, I want to begin to pray for the sick. You are seven years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. My God. God himself is bringing healing. I'm bringing deliverance. Healing and deliverance. When you find that person, please. Seven years. Where is that person? Come. Where are you from? Benway. Huh? Benway. Benway State. Come, stand here. How many years? Seven. Yes. Where is your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the power of God. Once you can believe, look at this woman, seven years. Now, many married women, many married women will tell you of the kinds of things that happen in Africa. There are people when they get married, three months is enough, everybody's looking at you. Saying, what are, nothing is happening, are you alright? Three months. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, be silent, let her go. Now! M my, um, madam, look at me. I'm going to pray for all of you, but lay your hands. I want you to know that the power of God is able to set you free. I know that women will still disobey, but no problem, just let them come. Place your hand in your stomach. There is grace for fruitfulness in this house, so let me tell you the truth. I'm about to pray. Most barrenness issues are demonic. You know that by now. Let me pray for you now. I will use you, madam, from Benue as a point of contact. I'm praying for her, but I'm seeing someone else under the anointing. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit. Now, let them go. I command that spirit out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit responsible for barrenness. I'm seeing something like a rope being removed from one of your wombs. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. I remove it right now. In the name of Jesus. I remove it right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I prophesy to you. According to the time of life. Return with your miracle children. Return with your miracle children. There is a woman you are watching from Ghana. You are sitting in your living room. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for four years. You are seated right now with someone. I don't know if it's your sisters. You are following this program. In the name of Jesus, go and write it. God will give you a baby boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be offended and I don't want you to come out. But there is a woman, you see, I don't believe in the ministry of condemnation. We help by the Spirit. But there is a woman because of a prolonged childlessness. You again went somewhere and it's not like you were, you were even uncomfortable. But they took you somewhere where somebody would supposedly maybe do something to help you. And from that time, it has been affecting you. You have been bleeding. This, has, this is a demonic thing. Wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, we dissociate you from those demonic things. We dissociate you from those demonic things. Hallelujah.
Jennifer. I'm hearing a name, Jennifer. And the Lord is telling me it has come to an end. Help them, please. It has come to an end. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. It has come to an end. Jennifer, the word Jennifer, that's what I'm hearing. I'm about to pray. It has come to an end. I stretch my hands right now. I don't know what it is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, Jennifer, let it come to an end now. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, it comes to an end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'm speaking under the unction of the Spirit. I say it again, it comes to an end. There is a family right now God is delivering. Marriage does not work in that family. No matter, even if you marry, you must return back to your husband's house. I just saw light. I don't know where that family is, whether you are inside or outside. But the power that has tied down. The power that has tied down the marital destiny of that family. I lose that family now. Hallelujah. I lose that family now. Now, Azaria family is also following. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing two ladies. I'm just seeing the venue, our venue in Zaria. And I'm seeing two ladies. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God is coming upon them right now. And the Lord, I'm hearing the word restoration. I believe it's not just for them. But I'm praying for someone. There is a mantle that is coming on someone for strange restoration. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. That power will come upon you. This is between now and 15th of December. You will come and testify. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that grace right now. Help them please. Help them please. Help them. Receive that grace right now. Between now and 15th of December, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Restore, 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 restore in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a word for someone. The trouble that is surrounding your office needs the miracle hand of God now. If not, I'm seeing something about to happen to you by next month. This is a career person. Antagonisms around your office. And with what I'm seeing, it's like a query later. And I'm seeing something that is making you lose your job. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. But I'm speaking to you by God who is the helper of men. I turn things around for your favor. Turn things around for your favor. The Lord is showing me, I'm seeing a family. You are watching from National Hospital. National Hospital here in Abuja. You are at the sick bed with somebody, a patient. And I'm seeing you are watching, someone is watching the video. When it's time to pray for the sick, I want your heart to be open. The Lord is encouraging you so that you will know that no matter where you are, He is able to touch you by His Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, there are 11 people here. Please listen. 11 people, you are in business. The grace is a strong unction for entrepreneurship. You are already in business. That anointing is coming on you in three months. Three months from today. The way God will shift you, it will surprise you. 11 people. 11 people. I stretch my hands right now. 11 people inside and outside may that grace rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now hallelujah i'm hearing a name 
This is a house name, Hafsatu. Is it Hafsatu? Hafsatu. Who is that? What is your name? Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Jerusalem State. <laughs> do you believe in Jesus? Yes, I do. Lift your hands. is the grace of the borrow upon you God is going to raise you as a warrior even for your family listen carefully I want you to take some time maybe a day or two or three and just fast and pray and ask the Lord to direct you don't be careless about your life there is the grace that was upon the borrow upon you I stretch my hands for you and I pray for the remaining I, I don't know why they are out but may, probably their names or their loved ones but I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Bring the gentleman that shouts right now under the anointing. I want to talk to him. There is a gentleman. There is a strong anointing. Not a lady. A gentleman. If you can, please. This gentleman is wearing white. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. When the power of God comes on him, let me know. Please bring him. Let's hurry up. I want to pray for the sick. Allah Shadaka Tosa Brandege Barahosia. Shalagade Brandege Diasia. There is a man of God here. Please hear me. There's a man of God here. You are in the overflow. You are not outside. You are in the overflow, not the basement. You know, one of the overflows here. You came with a hunger for your ministry because things have not been working. As I'm speaking right now, the power of God is coming upon you. Your one prayer request is not even for yourself. You are saying, Lord, I have done my best. I don't want to compromise, but truly, the ministry is not working. In the name that is above all names, I declare that an unction comes upon you right now. Is this the gentleman? Father, leave him. Okay, he can stand. Stand, my friend. Where are you from? Huh? Cross River State. Cross River. Yes, I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing captivity to end in your family. What do you do? I am myself I can't for it. <laughs> I'm seeing you in prison. I have to pray for you. Don't be. Don't feel bad, eh? I'm not. I'm here to help you. Don't feel bad. I'm seeing something happening, and I'm seeing you in the court. And from court, they are locking you in the prison. This has to do with people's money. You need to be careful. You need to seek advice. You are already in trouble now as you are standing. It's not even like you are free. It's just that it's going to be more trouble that will land you in prison. You need help, eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that wants to put this gentleman in trouble, I decree and declare, be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. But that's not even why I ask you to come out. The Lord is going to use you to really deliver your family. You believe that? Yes. I stretch my hands over you and I pray in the name of Jesus, may that grace of a deliverer rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a woman, a strong anointing coming on you. You own a restaurant. A restaurant. This is food business. And I'm seeing the grace of God. Parashadika Lagadeba Regatas. It's going to be a new season. God is opening very strange doors. You will be surprised to see the kind of clientele that God connects you with. This will happen by the Spirit. I'm declaring it unto you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a woman. You are not, you are not young. You are, you are quite an elderly woman. 
God has granted you grace right from when you were young. The grace to have prophetic dreams. Many things that are happening in Nigeria today, God showed you in dreams. It's just that you did not know that this thing is a call upon your life. I don't know who that person is, but God is speaking to me that I should talk to you. Whether you are following online or you are listening, God is saying I should tell you to take the time to pray and ask the Lord to find the calls of that prophetic dimension of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to count the number seven. And people are going to start running out from all the auditorium and the overflows by the Spirit. It is a strong grace for speed. An antidote to delay. I begin my counting. Bring them out. One. My goodness. Two. You will be surprised. Some of you, you do not even think you will be the people. Three. Four, I'm counting seven. That's what God is telling me. Five, get ready now. Six, my goodness. May that grace for speed that swallows up delay. Are you ready? Seven, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Speed, speed, speed. Every delay, every stagnation. Speed over your life. 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 I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea. I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and its riders have been thrown into the sea. This is a word for someone. Remember ye not the former things. Madam, whose cap are you lifting? Come, you will not die. Where is he? I'm seeing that the man is in this place. So. Yes, is he yes. here? Come. Yes. Don't be embarrassed, sir. Please come. Is he here? I just want to speak over his life. God bless you, sir. Thank you. We're honored to have you. And thank God for your wife. I just want to speak a word over your life. In the name of Jesus for you and your wife, sir. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. You will not die, not in battle, not by conspiracy. Who is with that crutch? You? My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus, walk. Lift it up. Walk. Who is lifting it up? Help that, please. Mama, in the name of Jesus, walk. this been? How long has this been? For more than 30 years now. More than 30 years? Eight, eight, eight. Mama, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring life to you. Amen. By the Spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Amen. Life to you. Amen. Come, follow me. Amen. Just careful with her. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Careful. Careful. I decree and declare that this situation, this demonic thing comes to an end now. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, everyone who is on a crutch or holding an, a chair or a stretcher, every inability to walk, whether you are here or in all the overflows or outside, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I speak over you now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let life come to you. Begin to walk now. Begin to walk now. If you could not walk, stand up and try walking now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing peptic ulcer. I'm seeing someone you've suffered. It's, it's acute ulcer, severe pain. Severe pain, especially around your chest. In the name that is above all names. I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is touching you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I don't know if, I, I don't know if it's a symptom of something, but I'm seeing someone, your hair is falling off. Your hair, you are a lady, your hair is falling off. I don't know if it's as a result of any medical procedure or whatever it is but you are losing your hair and God wants me to pray for you right now you are losing your hair who is that person I want to pray for you I'm going to pray this is a demonic thing this for one of you this has nothing to do with medicine this is a demonic issue I stretch my hands right now. For the head, the, the woman's hair is a glory, the Bible says. I prophesy right now. In the name of Jesus, every altar that is responsible for this, I cause it right now in the name of Jesus. I cause it right now in the name of Jesus. I cause it right now in the name of Jesus. Listen, I don't know at what age hair grows or doesn't grow. That is none of my business. I prophesy a restoration of your hair as a sign that God is restoring your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm saying it again that every altar, every altar, I'm hearing a name, Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. I presume this is a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. This is what I'm hearing. Whether you are here, whether you are in Zari, I'm hearing the name Kaza Chat. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord wants to avert the spirit of death from the family of Kaza Chat. If I didn't pronounce it well, my apologies. I'm only speaking as I heard. Kaza Chat. I use this name as a point of contact. Any family here that the devil is already programming death from now that you will not enter 2023 in the name of Jesus I command those altars judge now shout a loud amen those altars judge now hallelujah praise the name of the Lord there is a gentleman God is showing me here. You started applying for jobs since 2017. Till now you have not gotten anything. You are a gentleman. You have applied, applied, you applied in Abuja, you applied in Lagos, you applied online. You've done everything. You have even prayed and fasted. And it looks like the doors of jobs will not be open. The Lord is said, saying, I should tell you, this year will not be over. Before you get your job. I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God. There are two people right now who will start laughing by the Spirit. <laughs> It happens by the Spirit. The Bible says the shouts of joy and rejoicing shall not depart out of the tents of the righteous. It's not just about laughing, gibberish, and misbehaving. No. This is when God gives this. This is a note of victory in the realm of the Spirit. It is a token for establishing something prophetically. I declare it right now by the Spirit of the living God. That laughter is not a laughter unto shame. Sarah laughed and said, all who hear this will laugh with me. I am saying it to you again. In the name of Jesus, 
I'm using them as a point of contact. Everything that has brought prolonged tears and sorrow, hear me, prolonged tears and sorrow over any family here, I'm speaking to you, step into your season of laughter. Step into your season of laughter. You were rejected visa three times. Three times. I can imagine that, you know, several people want to leave Nigeria, so there are many people who have been rejected even ten times. But this is particularly, this is someone you have been rejected visa three times. This is, um, I'm seeing UK, then America. You've been rejected three times. It's not just about visa, but God wants to visit you and to pray for you. We may not have the time to ask you to come out. There's, there's no point feeling embarrassed. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for you. The Lord is showing me a woman here. Um, don't feel bad. And I'm not... People have a right to live whatever they want to live. But we are speaking within the confines of scripture. You have a son. This boy has gone abroad and he has become, what they call it, transgender. These guys that turn and become like women. That's what I'm seeing. This is, I don't know who that, but this thing has brought pain for the woman. She has been crying right now to say, a son that I'm depending on and he's gone abroad and a wrong, um, you know, a group of people influences across his life and it looks like he has become something else. Can I pray for all our loved ones who are outside this nation? Can I speak a word? You see, let me tell you, please look up. Um, whether you are a parent, whether you are a guardian, or anyone who is involved in raising someone, the greatest reward you can give anybody for investing in you is a responsible life. First, your spiritual responsibility, and then number two, responsibility in terms of purpose. Hallelujah. It is a very painful thing. Trust me, by the privilege of God's grace, I have been behind the rising of several people. I have raised people from primary school to university. So I, I have an idea of the pain of investing in someone and then the person does not become anything. In the name of Jesus, let me start with anyone here who is directly involved in raising someone. You will not raise trouble. Shout a loud amen. You will not raise trouble. You will not invest your money your time, your credibility on someone who will bring shame and reproach for you. Then we pray for all our children who are in diaspora, Europe, America, across the seven continents. May the hand of God preserve them from the decadence of the times. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is healing a gentle man. I'm seeing his mother ask him to watch this program and he's reluctantly watching from UK. This boy has mental health. He was diagnosed in the hospital and they said he has a mental health issue. In the name of Jesus Christ, as a sign that your mother did not just ask you to watch but is the Holy Spirit who led her. And that is also a sign that Jesus is looking for you. He wants to make meaning out of your life. I declare be healed from this mental health condition. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray for the sick now. My head thou was exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed the Lord just showed me someone I just saw in a vision I believe this is literal I'm seeing you receive an award I don't know if it's an award for what but this is your organization honoring you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but I prophesy that as God has revealed so let it be as God has revealed so let it be as God has revealed, so let it be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. We're going to pray for the sick. By reason of this work, you see, the apostolic ministry 
will expose you to the pain of people. Many of you here are men of God and women of God, and you understand what this means. I have wept at people's um, funerals. I have stood before dead bodies. I have seen families cry. I know the value and the power of introducing the healing anointing to a body that is sick and a body that is ailing. Some of you here right now, you came here literally with death sentences. You came here with all kinds of situations. We are going to pray right now. And whether you are in the main auditorium outside, all of the overflows down to the basement, or following by way of television or internet, I want you to know that Jesus heals. And he's about to touch you now. Some of you, whilst you came out under the anointing, many miracles have been happening to you. This is what I want you to do. You're going to lay your hands this moment. Lay your hands on any part of your body where you believe God for healing. And then you can also stand in for a loved one, a friend, someone you are trusting God for a miracle for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as a um, point of contact. I have seen the miracle working power of God. It's not something I should be saying at this time. But I can tell you, I know that Jesus heals. I have seen God do phenomenal miracles. And even tonight and even right now, He is going to honor Jesus once again. The Holy Spirit. That is His assignment. Yours is to receive by faith. Take your eyes away from the sickness or infirmity. Those of you who are falling from hospitals, you cannot imagine. And by the way, may God, do you know that there are hospitals that literally, the people get screens and put services like this just for their patients, especially hospitals that are pro-faith. What a, what a profound contribution to their health and wellness. And what an honor the Lord gives us to come into those hospitals and to come to minister to their patients. I have told you that I am a firm believer in the power of medicine and doctors. I'm surrounded by and with doctors, medical practitioners. I'm not one person who throws... Doctors have contributed immensely to my life and my health. They have supervised my well-being. They have been there for me and I'm indebted to them. But listen, let me tell you, there are situations that defy medicine. There are situations and I, 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 I thank the Lord for the partnership between vessels of honor and power and medical practitioners. It's, it's a very pro-kingdom alliance. That many doctors are not only carrying the healing anointing right now themselves, but they have understood. They have discerned that they can see a situation and say, listen, in addition to my practice, my professional practice, I acknowledge that you need the power of God. Hallelujah. The same way, even as men of God, we pray for people and we also refer them to doctors. I have gone to hospitals to see people and pray for them and, you know, it, it should work that way. The most important component, the similarity between doctors and those who heal by faith is love. Once there is love, the most important thing is provided it's not an antichrist pathway. Once it leads to the healing and the wholeness of that person, it must be altogether embraced. Gone are the days where men of God talk against doctors and doctors talk against men of God and two of them are at loggerheads. One thing has brought us together, love. That we are more interested in the, the well-being of that individual than our individual uh, whatever it is. Hallelujah. And so we're praying right now. And when I pray for you, some of you may need to quickly go to a medical stand to ask them, check you and verify. Every and any medical condition is healable tonight. I want your heart to be open and to receive. Now here's what we're going to do very quickly. The moment I pray for you, the power of God will touch you. You don't have to bring those under the anointing out again. Just manage them so they don't injure themselves. And then very quickly, I'm going to ask you to come and stand here for those who have been healed. And we'll take a few testimonies. While that is happening at the same time, may I request all um, the prayer requests. Those of you who are yet to submit your prayer requests, Please wave it because this is a very major um, expression of your desires. Hallelujah. Lay your hands now and let's pray. Lay your hands everywhere, inside, outside. 
the tens of thousands of people who are following online across the nations of the earth, Jesus comes to you now with his healing power. I want you to shout a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil behind infirmities in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit to give way now I command that spirit to give way now I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now be healed now outside be healed now all the overflows be healed now the main auditorium be healed now Azaria family be healed now our global family connecting be healed now now it does not matter what is wrong with you I minister the life and the power of Jesus I declare healing for you right now High blood pressure, go down now. Low blood, pre low blood pressure, come up now. Diabetes, be healed now. Ulcers, be healed now. Blood conditions of all sorts, be cleansed and corrected now. Migraine headache, be healed now. Own conditions be healed now. Neurological conditions be healed now. Psychosomatic conditions be healed now. Growths of all kinds be healed now. Anybody having a troubling genotype, we change your genotype right now. There's someone, I'm seeing that you have severe pain in your right eye. Severe pain. I don't know if you see or you don't see, but severe pain in your right eye. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, don't be embarrassed. This is why it is the house of God. And you don't have to come out. I'm only praying for you. I'm seeing a gentleman here. You don't even know what is wrong with you. But what is wrong with you is an STD. You need help. We are praying for you. But please, you need to go and see the doctor. This is, this is a, a urinary, you know, um, something that has to do with your reproductive organ. You need help very quickly. Because if this thing is not arrested and managed, it has been there for a long time. You just have been careless and negligent. May the Lord show you mercy right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone who has just been healed from pile. Very painful condition of pile. In the name of Jesus, I establish your healing right now. prayed for this kind of situation before I've seen it many times in my vision where a woman is not with child yet she's lactating I don't know the name of the medical condition where a woman does not have a child there's no baby but she's producing breast milk and this has become a serious inconvenience with a lot of pain in the name of Jesus Christ I declare normalcy to your body right now The Lord is healing someone, you have a liver problem. I don't know if you are here or a patient you have, your problem is with your liver. This is like you are literally dying. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. We pray for cancer patients. Can we agree and pray for cancer patients? Lord, preserve their lives. Preserve their lives. Preserve their lives. Preserve their lives. 
I don't know which general hospital is this, but I have seen someone who is in coma. The person has been in coma since last month. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we call the person back to life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman you've been having again. I advise you that even though we we'll pray right now, but please see a doctor. You've been having unusual heartbeat. Like your heart, your heartbeat, your heart rate is not beating normally. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, my apologies. But this is a serious cardiovascular issue. You need to see a doctor to attend to you immediately or at least maybe at the back or you will lie down and sometimes you literally gasp for breath. It's not COVID. This is something that I'm seeing. You are having a problem with your heart. In the name of Jesus, by the message of God, anyone having breathing problems, breathing issues, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Even though I'm praying for sick people, but I'm praying for a woman who is always seeing dead people in her dreams. Always, as you, this is not once in a while. As soon as you lie down, you must always see at least one dead face, the spirit of death over you that wants to swallow you up using sickness. I declare, be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. Like our videos, share, and subscribe. Thank you.